yeah, I'm just going to run through the uh, imaging aspect of EagleSoft here. Um, on the digital odontogram, if you are using EagleSoft Advanced Imaging, you will see thumbnails appear on the left-hand side of any images taken, uh, whether they be 2D images for your X-ray, or excuse me, periapicals, bite wings, full mouth series, uh, intraoral camera photos as well. Uh, patient photos. Uh, depending on which tooth you'd like to see, you can click on a particular tooth and then it would narrow down those images to the left uh, to those that contain that particular tooth number or teeth numbers in that as well. Uh, to take new images, you'd simply go into the lower right hand side here on the chart um, and click into the x ray module. Let me pull this over. It came up on my other screen here. And this is the imaging module here. So all of your previously uh, exposed images are going to be on the left hand side. So whether it's again bite wings, uh, full mouth series, pano, uh, intraoral video camera uh, pictures as well are going to be able to be captured uh, within EagleSoft too. Uh, taking new images uh, is easy depending on uh, which sensors you use. I believe you do have the DEXIS, so um, you can definitely get um, templates set up over on this left-hand side. So when you do go to capture full mouse series, you'll have that template set up correctly so that your um, positioning of the, uh, the uh, x-rays are oriented correctly and that they're exposed in the pattern that you want to get that set up in. There's a lot of different tools uh, that you can utilize in EagleSoft. So it's a very robust full imaging suite. Uh, we do have our exposure level indicator here. Uh, so it's letting you know within that you're in within normal range of your, um, you know, your KBP, your exposure level there. There's also some uh, tools at the top. We have an Eagle Eye which is nice when you're trying to detect uh, interproximal lesions. So you can highlight that here. Uh, you can also increase or decrease the brightness. Um, there's, some, uh, there's a zoom option as well that you can utilize. Um, you also have the ability to, to do some measuring. Um, there's also some colorizing that can be done as well just to make things really fancy here. So the imaging, again, it's going to list all your exams on the left-hand side, uh, starting with the most recent at the top, and then come down. You can all also look down here, uh, exams by type. So if you did wanna um, isolate those by type, you could do that as well. And just to take a new exam, um, you would just click new exam, pick your template. And then you would go ahead and capture your new images. What's also nice is you're able to link the, uh, the templates. So when you do organize your templates, you can assign uh, teeth numbers to the particular images and then that will attach it to the chart um, like I showed you before. So um, it definitely links it together. When I come into the chart, if I click again on tooth number three, any of those images that contain that tooth number um, will reflect here. 